Well, good afternoon, Raider Nation. I want to welcome you to Lady Raider Field at Bacon County High School in Alma, Georgia. For today's 4 o'clock start, game number six in the Super Regional. We'll talk more about that as we get ready. Again, apologize. We're just on time. Had a network issue. It seems like what can go wrong does go wrong in big games like this. But uh, we're going to start off here. Uh, the Lady Raiders are the home team, number one seed here in this Super Regional. Why we're the biggest reason or the only reason why we're hosting it, playing Crawford County at a – well, I had the name of the city. They were, I said it earlier. I forgot. Yeah, I, I forgot it. Anyway, I'll have to look it up. Nonetheless, I uh, want to thank you for joining us. This, is, this young lady leads off Griffin for uh, Crawford County. Uh, Chloe Pless is on the mound for the Lady Raiders. Beat this team yesterday uh, in game four that advanced us to this championship round, basically, championship game. Uh, it's a double elimination. So Crawford had to beat us twice. Okay, now that hit the knob of the bat. That sounded like it. She's out. Oh, my gosh. So the knob of the bat, she's going to get an infield base hit. Kind of like how it started last night, a little blooper yeah. uh, type stuff, we're, singing our singles. We're back to this kind of stuff already. <laughs> I've but, seen this before. But I do want to welcome you uh, – for joining us on the NFHS Network, powered by Play on Sports, brought to you by BCTV Red Raider Broadcasting. My name is Brent Johnson, and I'm along my sidekick, or whatever you want to call him, uh, Coach Sky Kick. Okay, first of all, you are my sidekick. <laughs> Good play there. Oh. That ball was definitely foul. Okay. Okay. I'm glad to know we at least got that right. So, again, how we got here, uh, Lady Raiders hosting this Super Regional uh Double elimination tournament. Winner takes all. Winner advances to the uh, Elite Eight, if you want to call it that, in Columbus, Georgia, uh, to compete in that another double elimination tournament for a state championship. Uh, Crawford County from Region 4, Single A, Division 2. And I'm not sure why that ball didn't hit her in the thigh. I guess because it hit her bat, but the ball was pitched well inside. Again, Chloe... Uh, pitched against this team yesterday, or last night, excuse me, the 6 o'clock game and the winner's bracket. Uh, come down to the wire. We'll talk more about that game uh, a little bit, you know, as the game progresses here. But Lady Raiders had a little bit of a slow start in both games yesterday. Um, and, again, I got in a little bit of trouble late uh, against Crawford yesterday, but we anticipate a different Lady Raider team today. Uh, see if we can't get, again, get to a better start, Sky. Yeah, um, I mean – they won yesterday, two and zero, so that's the main objective. That's always good. Uh, I know the fashion in which they won probably isn't exactly uh, what you uh, aim for as a player, coach, fan, any of the above. Um, as that ball is going to get hit well out the center field there, Santana's going to be underneath it. There's your first out of the ball game. But uh, in the two games yesterday, they made it. Uh, with they being the Lady Raiders, they made a few mistakes. They gave away some runs. So I anticipate them to be pretty much on their game today with some of the jitters and nerves possibly out, uh, which, of course, I mean, they win this game, they're going to Columbus. So, you know, that's probably in the back of their mind. I'm sure they've thought about it all day long so far. Sure, sure. So, um, Young blood to the plate for Crawford. But uh, my point is, going through that entire story there, is they clean it up. And they play up to their capability today. I expect uh, more than a one-run differential in the ball game. I would expect so too. Couple fun facts: uh, the Lady Raiders are on a 17-game win streak uh, by winning both games yesterday. That extended that lead. I was just told earlier by Miss Matters. Uh, she's up here in the press box with us, running the scoreboard and the PA announcing. Um, that last night they tied Coach Gay's longest winning streak in his coaching career, and that would have been a you know baseball career. Um, so if they win to win today, they're going to uh, extend his winning streak, personal uh, winning streak, and that, that's kind of cool to think about. Yeah, and with Coach Gay, I mean, knowing him as much of a baseball fan as he is, and I mean, he invested the better part of most of his life up until the last few years into the game of baseball. Um, 
I'm not sure if, if you'd have told him 10 years ago that he was on the verge of having an 18-game winning streak as a softball coach. <laughs> I'm not sure what his reaction would have been to that statement. That's right. That's right. And, I, and, and we we discussed it last night. I think it's important. Uh, we need to look at the history books. The only I was talking to Ms. Meadows earlier. Uh, the only teams that I would think that, that had the possibility of having that type of winning streak would have been a couple of the basketball teams that won state championships back in the 60s and early 70s. The, the, the women's uh, got two of them and the men's won. Um but I don't think there's any. I wouldn't think there's any other sport that would have this type of of winning streak for, I mean, for the Raiders. It's it's a huge achievement overall. I mean, just to win 18 games in a season would be a big deal. Let alone on the verge of winning 18 in a row. A little tight, tight strike zone there. Uh, these it's going to be a walk. Yeah, so Carricker comes to the plate. Uh, the shortstop. Uh, runners on first and second here with one out. But yeah, I mean, just in general, this season has been phenomenal, and obviously. Their uh, main goal is still ahead of them. Yeah. We're, we're not quite at the finish line yet. That's fouled into the first base dugout. Everybody's over there uh, watching, ducking. I think you mentioned uh, Chloe had pitched 92 innings up through yesterday. Yeah. So now she's putting 99 in, and her ERA is still below two. Uh, had a couple unearned runs yesterday. Ball. Dad's gonna be oh, and that's that's a tough play. What even? Oh wow! Well, we're gonna. <clears throat> there's one of those miscues that popped up yesterday, as I mentioned earlier. It's got a ground ball there to Riley, and she yeah. boots it first time around and goes to make a toss to second base. And from my angle, I'm not sure if it was an inaccurate toss or second baseman. Just I, I don't think she was prepared for. It. I, I think she she thought Riley was going to eat it, and that's probably what she should have done. Um, but again, that's just one of them bang bang uh, natural reaction trying to get that out at second base. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think the second baseman was anticipating the throw or the little toss there. Yeah, he just ended up rolling in the right field there. You got runners at second and third now as as she takes. Take second with still one out, one run in here in the top of the first inning. It's kind of, again, bringing back some old memories from about 12 hours ago. Yeah, another one of those just slow starts. Or 24 hours ago, I should say. Yeah. 12 hours ago, uh, I was yeah. in the bed. <laughs> yeah, we we'll go around the horn. You got. We mentioned Pless on the mound. Cartledge behind the plate got her first dinger yesterday, a career dinger. Yeah, been in the weight room. <laughs> first base is Han. Uh, second base is Connor. Shortstop, we mentioned Riley already. Third base uh, is Kirkland. And then the center field is Green. Right field is Hollingsworth. And left field, Metters. Metters. Alley Matters. So, yeah, this brings us back to one of those situations we have uh, got all too familiar with last night, one of these tight jams trying to work out of. Yep. Yeah, we've well, that's what you, you deal with when you got you got three different umpires here. Like yesterday, there was three umpires. They they called four games, so one of the guys got behind the plate twice. But all the games I saw, those guys were really they did a, they did a really good job yesterday. And I'm not saying this guy's not doing a good job. It's just a different different zone that the pitcher and the hitters are going to have to adjust to. Um, so it it can go two ways. All I ask is they're consistent with both pitchers, you know, and and that's that's about all you can ask. Yeah. One out, one in. Is that going to be a walk also? Yes. Bases loaded with one out. Here in the top of the first inning. Looks like we're going to get a courtesy runner, first base. Perfect weather, uh, just a little bit of a breeze. Um, I thought it was going to be colder than it was yesterday, but it's actually warmed up just a tad earlier. Yeah, it was definitely cold this morning. Then I see tomorrow morning, it's supposed to be, I think, 28 degrees. Mm. Well, 
Okay, now we finally get a strike call there on the inside part of the plate. Well, it was it was over the plate for sure. I, I don't I don't think this guy, at least on the inside, the ball is going to have to cover the plate. Yeah. I, I haven't seen him Which, make a call on the outside yet. This is going to be that way both ways, and maybe it helps us out some also. So that's a little pop-up over there at first base that Haley's going to handle with ease. Yeah, that's an out we needed right there to get the two outs with bases loaded. Got to stop this. Bleeding, if that's what you want to call it here. You know, we haven't given up more than one run. We should be here. And, again, pretty good shape here yeah. if uh, Chloe can get out of this inning with bases loaded and, and one out. Now there's two outs. This Crawford team struggled to score against Matter, and, boy, Matter, they, they struggled to get uh, very many hits and no runs in that elimination game that Crawford just played. It was three to nothing was that final. Well, we just can't give them, give them outs and give them runs. That's right, and that's what we've done. That's another unearned run that scored. Uh, and we just have to play our game and up to our capability and our standard. And the rest will take care of itself. Chopped the third. Kirkland, she's going to run over and get there. She's got to get oh, there boy. quick and got her, though. Boy, that was, whew, was a little closer yeah. than I think anybody anticipated. Uh, that's going to end the inning, guy. Yeah, that's one of those where, man, you're just hoping that umpire is about to raise his fist. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break on our sponsors here. As uh, I do want to let me audibly call them out. That's Coley Electric and Plumbing Supply, Family Vision Care, and Burt CPA. All right, back bottom of the first inning. Game is young. Raiders are down one. Uh, we found ourselves in this pr uh, issue uh, yesterday, actually down two relatively quickly. But Kirkland's going to lead off. Kirkland had the game-tying hit last night. Yeah, she, uh, she hit some in the lasers top. yesterday. A yeah. few line drives over there in that 5-6 hole in the left field. I mean, it's good stuff. We mentioned she had a, sort of a tough time at third base, made some good plays Uh and then the ball just seemed to just sneak. I mean, it was crazy. I just, you know, go back later and watch the game, folks. Yeah. Let me while I'm mentioning this, I, I've taken the games down. I hope I, I posted something last night on my BCTV Red Raider Broadcasting Facebook uh, page that we, we've taken the on-demand games down temporarily until after the playoffs, which is basically another week and a half. Uh, Columbus will be over, as, as you know, especially if the if the uh, Raiders do in fact advance. Uh, we anticipate they will. Uh, we hope they will. Uh, but those games will be back up for you to watch on demand. Uh, we just don't want to give other schools an opportunity to uh, to scout our, our Lady Raiders up until that point. Sky last night, or you know, for those that didn't join us yesterday, uh, we we struggled a little bit getting the barrel of the bat on the ball. Uh, this young lady was oh, this ball was hit. That's going to be in the 
slight left center field. There's a center fielder to be able to handle that one, though. It seems like she was throwing sort of a cutter-type pitch um, that looked really good coming out of her hand halfway there, and then it just kind of darted off the plate. Yeah, a lot of pitches that were, I mean, out in the hand looked like they were going to be center cut, but then as the closer they got to the plate, the more they leaked out away from our right-handed batters, and we ended up not barreling up a lot of balls at times and hitting more so off the uh, cap area. Balls hit sharply down. Bad, oh, boy. Uh, Pretty sure hopped over the third it, it, base. It sure, bag. sure looked like it. Uh, I know it. This its last bounce. This side of the bag was on the white. It was on the chalk. Yeah. Um. But we had two guys there looking down the line. I know they have definitely a better angle than we do, or even our fans have. Yeah. So you got to hope they made the the correct call there. That, I don't think that third base bag has done us any favors nope. in the last 24 hours. This Riley, she's going to pop one way up high. Third baseman's going to get underneath it. And oh, she's unable and to she make it. it. Yeah. So that's going to give us give Riley a second chance. And a lot of times you see, uh, at least you see your opponents take advantage of that. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we will too. Uh, as Riley will have another swing at, the, swing at it. I will say we have a pretty good crowd here. Yeah, already. We were talking earlier. I, I, I mentioned before. Uh, the other game was over that I kind of wish this game had been maybe pushed back to, say, 5, 5.30 to get some more folks that are working here. But we got a nearly a full stand over yeah. here on the left and then people standing as well. Uh, I mean, people know what's at stake. I mean, there's a trip to Columbus on the line here, and it's, I mean, it's a big deal. Yeah, it is. Hadn't been to Columbus in about three years, so it is a big deal. Taking ball outside. They're being real careful with Riley, and they should. Three-sport athlete, uh, softball, basketball, and soccer player. She is the reigning. She was crowned homecoming queen a couple weeks ago. Well, that sure would be nice to <clears throat> work our way into a couple walks and let them help us out. Absolutely. I think I saw a little motion there with her hand that was deliberately trying to, you know, turn that ball on that particular pitch. Yep, that one too. Yeah, yeah good crowd. I see a chairman of the Board of Education give Miss Lisa Hughes a shout out. She does her best to to show up at uh, events. That's going to be a strikeout for Andrews. She's not going to be happy with that. Hand. Hand. Haley Hand is going to come to the plate, our first baseman, wearing number three. But Lisa's also one of our biggest fans as far as the NFHS network. Uh, she's told me multiple times that um, this is one of her best investments each year that she makes for her annual subscription. Uh, the things that she can't make, uh, she watches online her and her husband john john i give him a little plug he's a local state farm agent it's my agent had a major issue at my home a few years ago uh, and he was he and state farm did a great job helping take care of that oh, yeah what'd you do you playing with matches one day and oh that's gonna be shallow center field oh, there, good play baseman and drifts out and make the catch yeah Good play there by the second baseman. She, like she said, he drift, she drifted out, made the catch over the shoulder uh, slightly. It's going to be uh, three up, three down for the Red Raiders. Not exactly what we were looking for there, but as we head to the top of the second, got to play some defense, settle down a little bit, and start making some things happen. We're going to take another quick break and be back in a moment.
Top of the second, down one to nothing. Yeah, and I mean, it, it'd be great if Crawford County just scored one run for the whole ball game. It's possible, very possible. I know Chloe can shut them down. We mentioned earlier her ERA, her ERA is around 1.85, 1.9 on the season. That's almost 100 innings. That's pretty impressive. I don't care who you're pitching against. Um, and that, that tells you something else, that your defense is pretty solid too. Yeah. Uh, Phyllis led off that inning, the left fielder, and with a ground out to third. That's yeah. going to bring up Howard. Lexi's over there. She's able to handle that one. And again, Howard to the plate. And we'll be back to the top of the lineup with Griffin as they've batted through the lineup really quickly here. It's a good pitch. A strike on the outside corner. You serious? It's going to be 28 in the morning? That's the what it was supposed to be the last time I looked. That's fouled down the left field line. Frost advisory. Yeah, it's showing about 36, 37. Yeah. Got the big buck contest this weekend. Yep. You get a ticket? No. You don't get a ticket for the drawing at least? No, I haven't done that in a couple of years actually. I usually get one. I haven't hunted in a couple of years. I've probably hunted twice in the last three years, which is – Prior to the, these last three or four years, I hunted, seemed like religiously. Maybe that's why I've cooled off. Uh, uh, I don't think I've been in two going on three years now, somewhere around there. I started slacking off whenever we could start pouring corn when they changed the, <laughs> the law and the rules. Hey, that Ball's hammered. So oh, oh, Santana wow. makes that play in right center. Man, that'll get, that don't get you fired up. Yeah, that, I mean, that, uh, that ball was going to end up rattling up against the fence for at least a double, probably. And folks, when you rewatch that, you're going to see how smooth she was. It was like I'm, she's not going to get there, and, and she made like three strides. You know, yeah, uh, she's so athletic. Um, just to, I tell you, that's, that's a that's a great play. That's at least a double there. It's, it's always nice to have athletes out mm. in the, out in the field. Can't too. coach that. Can't coach uh, speed. High hand coordination. The ones that can just go and make up ground effortlessly. There's a ground ball to Riley. Should be here three up, three hours. down. Nice. Yes, it is. That's a, that, that may be our best defensive inning yeah. of the last two games. Good, uh, you know, good shutdown inning right there. Now it's the perfect opportunity to get some runs on the board. We're going to take another quick break. Honor our sponsors here on the NFHS Network. Come back just a second or two early here. And, you know, if you wasn't with us yesterday, or if you were, we'll give you a little recap. Lady Raiders played it, <clears throat> excuse me, at approximately 145. Struggled just a bit early um, with the Jefferson team, but finally put them away 12-5. Uh, to 5, And then uh, we earned the right to play in the winner's bracket uh, game four against this Crawford team last night, who defeated Metter earlier in the, that day, or yesterday. Uh, seven, I think, yeah, seven to one in their, their game one. And then we uh, struggled a bit early, uh, not taking anything away from this Crawford team. I think they gave us everything they had last night. <clears throat> we were down four to two at one time going into the uh, bottom of the six. We, we scored two to tie it up. I mentioned earlier Kirkland did that. Then we gave up a run in the top of the seventh, made it five to four, and it went to the bottom of the seventh, and our Lady Raiders pulled it out, scoring two runs to end that game. A walk-off 
Uh, yeah, and uh, just to chime in, the atmosphere was, I mean, just rocking. electric <laughs> last night. This is Pless to the plate, the pitcher of record, and she had a chance to help herself here. She leads off. Pless, Cartledge, and Dixon up. Yeah, and close the pitcher, but she's also batting 375 on the year, so she handles it pretty well at the plate also. Ball was hammered to left field, right uh, to yeah. just a great defensive position there. Left fielder was in a perfect spot. Again, stuff like that, you can't do anything. That's all you're asking, to hit the ball hard somewhere. And just unfortunately, again, it's crazy how, you know, over time, it, it's, it's, they're playing straight away in the outfield. It looks like pretty much straight away in the infield in their normal positions. It's all so much air out there, you know. Yeah. It's like playing golf. He's thinking all that air out there it hits that twig, hits that limb or that tree. <laughs> yeah, I know a thing or two about that. <laughs> uh, again, cartilage to the plate. Boy, she had some really good at bats yesterday. One uh, was a big, big home run she hit into the wind to left center. Uh, her first. Yeah, she was simply just locked in. Just, oh, there we just go. Just like that right there. I mean, that's about on cue right there. Yep. Base hit for the Raiders. I mean, that's that right there has been the norm for her in the last 24 hours. And you know, in a, in a home run like that can do one of two things to a batter. It can kind of maybe inflate their ego and they get there swinging for the fence, swinging too hard, and, and bad things can happen. Yeah. Or it just increases their confidence. And that, that's what you saw right there with that swing. All right. Nice level swing. And uh, just to uh, talk about her home run yesterday, I seen her at school today and we talked about it for a minute. And, um, she had a fly out deep center field in the second game mm -hmm. last night. She said that one felt better than the ball she hit out. And, you know, we talked about the wind last night. Just at that moment was blowing in. But then as soon as our inning was over, I believe the wind just completely died down. So. This is one of those unlucky things. And the wind is blowing in again today from that coming in from left center. Yeah, there might not be any balls leaving the park anytime soon unless they're just absolutely smashed. Hmm. Ball was hit. Yes, oh, there we go. That's going to be trouble. Yep, that's up against the wall. That's going to score a run. Yep, we got. That's going to be a stand-up double. Right, we're going to have one run scored by Maddie Metters on the play with our freshman Ayla Dixon standing on second base there. As she She's hit the ball really well also in the last 24 hours, so she's been coming through for sure too. It's going to tie this game up with only one out here in the bottom of the second. Yeah, so now we've got the game tied up. We just need to take the lead right here. I mean, we don't look back. Yeah, we're stringing together some hard contact right here. Oh, yeah. The runner's going to advance the third there on that pass ball. Coach Gay likes his manager role over there. <laughs> Anakay might have just. Oh, oh it's on the chalk. The chalk. Oh, there we go. That's going to score the second run. That's what we're talking about right there. Yeah. We're finally getting a little bit of what we've been given. Well, I tell you, if we start getting all the luck that's been against us, I mean, <laughs> we, we might score quite a few runs here. That's true. And Anakay with a ton of speed herself. That's going to bring Connor, Ava Connor, and she's got a ton of power. Green on deck. I can't imagine her bunting here with one out. I, I actually believe she laid one down last night, but she pulls back. 
That was just a dead steal, and she's going to be out. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure we had a hit and run on right there. Yeah. I think that's why Ava took that. That was a that, it was that, a high uh, tag. I, he like tagged her almost in the face. Yeah. Uh I'm seeing, I don't think he can uh, nothing else. He's gonna maybe a barter a play later on in the game, but Coach Gay is having a little conversation with the gentleman who ruled her out. Um the ball was there, but I just don't I think the argument may be that the, the tag was relatively high. Yeah. But he's going to make his point. And he's going to ask for some help. Yeah, I think we're going to get th- it. It's rare. rare. It's, it has to be pretty obvious for umpires to overturn a call like that. Um, and that's part of a – I'm just going to be honest. It's kind of saving a face thing. They don't want to – unless it's really obvious, you know, they don't want to – throw any of the umpires under the bus I, I don't I'm not sure if it was it is one of those that warrants an overturn if it was that obvious but nothing wrong with coach gay uh, bringing them together like this to to, to talk talk about it and yeah, see I mean, what if, they come up with i mean if they want to overturn it we'll take it sure you know? sure I, I just don't think it's going to be i'll be surprised if it is one of those calls that they do but again uh tra- stranger things have happened we have two outs here if that stands and it looks like it's probably going to stand yeah uh and that's you know get your voice in their ear, and you, you might get a might get a, a close call our way a little later. You just yeah. never know. Um, but again, Connors at the plate. We do have two outs, no base runners now. Scores one to one. Bottom of the second. Championship game number one. Again, the Lady Raiders are undefeated. This is a double elimination. If we were to lose this first game, uh, we, there would be a second. Yeah, and the, the thought just crossed my mind. If we uh, win this ball game, this would be the last home game of the season. Yes, absolutely. It's going to wind it up. You know, I was telling the uh, the AI computer up there that normally runs the automate, automated camera um, that was going to do game one today or the first game today, that's going to be strike two? Uh, yeah. She, okay. Uh, she was walking off like she thought it was it, but it's going to be – Okay, well, I guess that's it. Uh, I was, I get, did, did the catcher uh, drop the drop know, the, some, the strike? Weird, something weird just happened. Either me. way, it looks like it's the third out, and it's going to end the inning, and uh, we're going to head to the top of the third. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a quick break and be back in just a moment on the NFHS Network. Top of the third inning, game tied one to one. I would say the last inning might have been uh, the Raiders' best defensive inning of the games we played in this tournament. Yeah, it'd be nice to just pair a few of those together. Yeah, that's gonna get so a headache. Back. We hit the foul pole oh. and come back down in the stands. <laughs> Hey, I think everybody's all right, maybe. A 
Ball was going to be lifted. And Anna Kate's going to be there to make that play. Yeah. Again, that's athleticism for you right there. That's what and that was uh, young. Uh, that was that Ivy. Was Ivy. I'm way behind. I'm, I'm watching the game too much. No, it's Widden. They changed that lineup. Widden was batting in that second hole. That's going to be a ground ball to short. Riley's got that. Oh, yeah. Good throw. Oh. We didn't secure it at first base. Good good play and throw there by the shortstop. Just couldn't, couldn't quite hold on there at first. Yeah, good little – Drop step with a backhand there by Riley. Runner at first now with one out. And there's strike one. Just a little low in the zone. This is Carricker. Shortstop. <clears throat> and again, a team uh, like this, Crawford, don't have nothing to lose. They're going to do everything they can to try to scratch out a win yeah, this they're... game. They're in desperation mode, so anything they can do to get a run on the board, they're going to try to do it. They know it, it could very well end up being another close ball game, so runs will be at a premium. Premium, that's right. That should, should be a can of corn for Allie, and she yeah, does squeeze she, it for that. She made a couple big catches last night in game two out in left field, and a couple I good plays. Yeah, I told her uh, this morning in class – I said her biggest play was probably the walk that she drew, you know, that, that, that tied the game up uh, in the bottom of the seventh. There's a little dribbler out in front of the plate there. That Jess going to handle for the third out of the inning and get us back into the – Dug out with a chance to add on to our lead here. All right. Once again, we'll take another quick break between innings here as we honor our sponsors. Again, I want to thank a couple people real quick. Our principal, Pam Williams, and uh, athletic director, Shook Parker. And I know I know Charlie Powell's out there. I've seen him yep. walk up. Sister principal Powell. I'm not sure if uh, sister principal Johnson is, is here. Uh, I want to thank them for their support of what we do, allowing us to uh, the opportunity to broadcast these games, participate and travel and do that sort of thing. But, again, we'll take another quick break and be back in just a moment.
Bottom of the third. Green's going to lead off for the Raiders. One to one. Just looking for a spark here. Put a little distance between us and the Warriors. Eagles. Eagles. Who was the Warriors? Jefferson. Jefferson. Fact checked by Caleb Griffin himself last night. That's right. We got a conversation going on with the umpire here. I think about probably some defensive changes or some switches. Yeah, it's going to be a, like a double switch type deal with the. I don't know if the. If we do have a new pitcher yeah. uh, that's coming in. Uh, it was, this is Phyllis. She was in left field and she's moving to the pitcher spot. She pitched the last game uh, in the defeat of Metter, 3 to 0. Got a bunt attempt by Santana that's going to be fouled straight back. That's, that's just interesting. I know she's got a lot of speed, but, again, she didn't look real comfortable last night when he asked her to bunt in about the six, fifth or sixth inning. Squared around early. Second pitch is going to be <clears throat> low and inside. Ball was hit sharply. Nice play by the shortstop to get Santana. That's going to be one out. Again, bottom of the third. This is actually game six of the tournament, but you really could say it's game one of the championship game, championship matchup. Um, but this is an elimination game as well for – Crawford, if they cannot defeat us. We're back to the top of the lineup with Kirkland. She flew out her first at bat, but hit a, a, a laser out to left field. Good pitch there to get over for a strike. As the ball chopped her short, another. Shortstop's a little quick out there. She is. I tell you, the shortstop and the third baseman, um, probably their best two athletes. Uh, they both have cannons. I know that. Two up, two down for the Raiders. That's going to bring up Andrews, who struck out her first at bat, so she's looking for some redemption. Actually, coming into this tournament, Riley has the – or had, I'm not sure if this tournament would have changed anything statistically or not by now, but uh, Riley was actually batting 467 coming into this tournament, which was the highest batting average on the team. It's pretty good. You bat about 285 in the majors and you go to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Well – now with the way Major League Baseball is going, and if you hit 260, you're apparently a big deal. Yeah. It's definitely falling off. I mean, used to, it used to be 300 or 310 that you were a good hitter. Now it's just 260 with 30 home runs, and you're a dude. Well, I will I will say this. over the, Especially this last decade, I think you've seen more – solid pitching in the majors than you have prior to. Uh, usually you had five or six, eight, I mean, true aces in each league. And now you've got 15 or 20, it seems like. They've got a called third strike there on Riley to 
in the bottom of the third inning, so we'll go to the top of the fourth with your Lady Raiders leading Crawford 2-1. to one. And we'll take another short break and be back in just a moment. back <clears throat> top of the fourth end in here that first pitch is going to be hit out to second base where Ava's going to make that play for the first out so one pitch one out that's about as good of a start as you can um, want Lloyd to the plate. Strike one. Off the fist. And Chloe will make that play. So three pitches, two outs. Three pitches, two outs. You know, honestly, other than that first inning, there hasn't really been a lot of uh, people on base. That's going to get hit back to Chloe. So we've got a, a four-pitch inning here. So That's nice. Chloe rolls through the fourth inning, and then he's going to bring our Lady Raiders up the bat with a two-run, <laughs> two-to-one lead here in the bottom of the fourth inning. It's going to bring up Hand, Pless, and Cartledge right at the heart of our lineup here. See if we can figure out a way to, uh, again, score some runs here, put some, put a little more pressure on this Crawford team. Right now, they they're still feeling like you know, even that loss, they feel like they can, they, feel like they can beat us. They got a little, little bit of confidence left. Um, hanging in here with a uh, number one seed, and and really in a, in, in a couple polls, or at least one, you know, we're we're the number one team in the state in single A uh, division two. Um, now, you know, how accurate that is, I don't know. I know, you know, a couple of those teams, those private schools, they're going to have a stud pitcher that's uh, that we'll have to contend with at some point or another. Um, but uh, hopefully, that'll be next week when we advance to uh, Columbus. Yeah, and Crawford. Crawford definitely hasn't laid down and just handed it to us. So it's been highly competitive here through um, ten and a half innings that we've played them in the last twenty-four hours. Yeah, and you know, I was telling Miss Matters earlier about a little bit about Columbus. It's a pretty cool uh, environment. Uh, I actually like it kind of now that you know NFHS is is now they're sending their own crews and teams uh, to broadcast those those games there whereas we were we were tra we traveled there four or five years in a row basically uh, but we haven't been there in a couple of years and uh, the last thing the last year we attended was the first year the NFHS broadcasted so we didn't go um, but next week we should be able to watch if you're a subscriber or if you've signed up for the month 
uh, you'll be able to watch uh, any and all of those games out of Columbus where they have about nine fields. I think they have eight regular fields and a stadium field, and they've got you know, games going on. It's crazy. You're talking 64 teams there out of eight, essentially eight classifications, two single A's, you know, or, or an extra single A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, eight times eight, I think if my math is correct, 64. It's a bunch of softball Yeah. in a three-day period of time. But it's a bunch of good softball there. I mean, it's best on best. Again, hand at the plate, and she popped up, popped out her first at bat. He likes that inside corner now, don't he? Yeah, and uh, that pitch gets over for the first strike of this at bat. And the Raiders have uh, three hits on the day and three strikeouts. This ball is chopped foul. Oh, that's a solid Shoots it down the left field line. Line drive there. That would be good for a single. I tell you, I'm going to give the left fielder some props. She got over and got in front of that ball quickly to keep Haley from making that a double. Um, You know, as a coach, you like to see that. Uh, But that was just a fine piece of hitting there. She took that inside pitch and just hit it right down the line. And that's going to bring our cleanup hitter, Chloe, up the bat. Chloe lined out her last at bat, hit it super hard. Huh. That gets over for a strike. Wow. I could see that ball was just off the I mean half the ball was off the plate. It's going to be taken low, so we got a 2-1 count here. She wanted it, but she held up. 3-1. Those pitches up in the zone, you see them very well. But a lot of times you see them, but you just can't quite catch up to it. Yeah, and uh, if you do, you're... Usually not hitting it well. It's, yeah, it's pop up. Yeah, I know in uh, baseball now, at least in the majors, up in the zone has actually been the the spot for pitchers to go to get outs these days. Is that's um, one of the cold spots around the league based on average these days. Caleb, if you're watching and listening, I want to fact check on that. <laughs> Big cut there by Pless. And all that gets into the whole launch angle era and the physics. And yeah, they, but I tell you, after watching some more baseball in this latter part of the season, I don't watch a lot during the regular season. I just don't have the time, but um, I kind of hone in on the playoffs, and especially with the Braves being there and Pless staying alive there. Oh, ba- baseball is still going on? I thought it, I thought it ended on Saturday. <laughs> when the praise got but I, No, they talk about, you know, this, the launch angle and the speed off the bat and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. It's almost like I'm watching golf. They do the same thing. Yeah. An- analytics, all these numbers are just driving the sport. That's a big walk right there. Yeah. Lady Raiders are going to have runners on first and second here with nobody out in the bottom of the fourth hoping to add on to, the, to their lead. Cartledge coming to the plate. And, man, she has been stinging the ball. Yeah. I'm just about would say this is probably based on um, recency bias. This is probably the batter you want up at the plate the most right now. Ooh. 
That was one to plug right there. What's the what's the uh, flag looking like out there? Uh, the wind is going to be blowing in from left to right. That ball's low in the, in the dirt. That pitch is going to be taken inside. Catcher's going to go out to talk to the pitcher real quick. A little bit different rules with softball. The starting pitcher can actually come back in and pitch uh, if she were to need to, if they, if, if they wanted to. I think she's swinging away if there's something in the zone. I mean, she's been all over everything she swung at just about. She's going to roll well, that She one. was ready. And that was inside, just off the handle. That's going to make it count what? 2-2. Two, two. Still no outs here in the bottom of the, oh, excuse me, is it bottom of the fourth? Yeah, bottom yeah, of the fourth. Yeah, I got to keep moving my arrow here. There's a uh, yes. I <laughs> see a nice field single. We'll have to hold up. Had to hold up. The right thing to do there was green. Is that green? Nope. No. That's no, hand. Um, holding up there. That was the definition of a bloop. <laughs> see a nice single. Drives coaches crazy, right? Well, if you're the on opposing coach. defense, yeah, on yeah. defense, yeah. Uh, another. If you're, if you're on offense, I mean. You'll take them out. You'll you can take get them. There you get it. That's right. Dixon with a double her last at bat. Bases loaded, no outs. Yeah. And I, as I predicted the last couple games, you know, we played when we've had bases loaded with no outs or one out, you, you typically can expect to get one run in here. Uh, the odds, again, are in your favor. Yeah, and this is the the freshman here. Especially with the infield in, if you hit something hard, it's difficult for them to – Pick it. Another ball low. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure now. Two balls. Mm -hmm. Raiders with a chance to really blow this thing open right here. Score a couple runs. Dixon, the freshman. Ooh, and that was the one. Yeah, she she might have been taken all the way there. Probably. There's a hit. There it is. That's a solid shot back up the middle. So we're going to end up with two, two runs, runs out man. of that. And, again, I, I just said it. That's it's a tough play for the shortstop. When the ball is hit sharply, he just can't get to it. Yeah, that was a nice little smash right there. That Ayla comes through yet again for the Lady Raiders, and that just doubles our lead here. Going to bring it to four to one here for your Lady Raiders. We're going to get a courtesy runner. It's going to bring Hollinsworth to the plate. Gonna she had her a, first hit. Going to get a courtesy runner and a big ovation for Ayla as she jogs off the field there. Yeah, Hollingsworth uh, had an RBI single. She had a little bloop down the right field line that yeah, we'll, dusted the, we'll take the line. A, we'll take another one of those right here. Oh, no outs. We're going to see if she can. Oh. It's good good base running there by the ladies not getting doubled up. But she popped it up. It's going to be the first out of the inning. Yep. That high pitch might have been one to take there. Again, it's.
Bunting is uh, is a lost art, but it's still an art. Well, nowadays everyone's swinging for the fences. That's going to bring. Uh, that's Ava. Ava Connor. Connor can really put a jolt on that scoreboard and in this crowd. I think it was her. Didn't it her that hit it off the top of the fence yesterday? Yeah. Uh, that And, again, the only reason that ball didn't go out was because of the wind. Strike, you're on the inside part of the plate. Bottom of the fourth, four to one, Lady Raiders. One out. Big cut oh, there. That ball is fouled back. Coach Gay, a little word of encouragement there. Maybe feeling her pressing a little bit. I got a fly up here that's annoying. Cold weather like this, there wasn't supposed to be any. It's supposed to have been still. Again, I want to thank our 2022-23 athletic school year title sponsors, Coley Electric and Plumbing Supply, Burt CPAs, Family Vision Care, Big cut. Foul that one back. That one looked good. It's a little high in the zone, but one that she could drive. Tell you what, it's just these outfielders straight away. A lot of room in right and left center. Inside, uh, it's gonna it's gonna strike her out. And that's going to bring Green yep. to the plate. Uh, bring Santana up to the plate to, with a chance to add on a couple more here. Got a swing and a miss there on the ball, a little up in the zone. Girl's got a little bit lower release point. Ball stays kind of flat. Is it mis Am I right on that? It does Low. seem that way. Santana's going to foul that one back, though. Ball is hammered yeah, in the center that field. Ball's this hit ball well ball. in the center field. And, oh, oh, what a great <laughs> play. Got a little basket catch out yeah. there by the center fielder. That was just a really good play by her. That was a fly out by Santana. Yeah. It's gonna, that was a well hit ball. It's going to lead us into the top uh, half of the fifth inning uh, as your Lady Raiders do uh, grab a couple runs back here. We, we take the lead four to one. Not a comfortable lead, but it's something we can work with. We're going to take another quick break and be back in a moment.
right, now we're back here in the top of the fifth inning. Um, with your Lady Raiders leading four to one here. We've got first strike already thrown here to the leadoff batter of the inning. Lady Raiders are nine outs away from Columbus. Can we can we start the countdown yet? Strike two. There we go. Strike three. Eight outs away. Slowing away there. Back to the t is this uh, what number we got here? Number eight. Hey, yep, back to the top of the lineup. Griffin, she's had a hit and a line out. Got a one-one count here. A one one count, one out, lead off batter. So that's gonna be fouled back for strike two. I saw the Yankees won. Yeah, they batted one eighty two as a team in the series. That is their Lowest batting average in a series in franchise history hmm. in which they won the series. Yeah. Nice. I see they, them, uh, the Astros play today and the Phillies play again, the Padres. Yeah. And, uh, Let me check that. That's going to be a ground ball foul down the first baseline. Yeah, the Yankees batting 182 is almost as bad as the Braves batted in their uh, <laughs> divisional round. Phillies up three to nothing in the second inning over San Diego again. Probably the hottest team. Yep, that's in the playoffs. That's what the playoffs are about. Playoffs, the NCAA tournament. I mean, just about who's playing good at the right time. Well, it's like the Mets; they kind of peaked. With about two weeks left in the season. Yeah. And then you know, they got put out by the Phillies, and then the, you saw what the Phillies did to the Braves and so on and so forth. This ball was hit sharply in the yeah, right that, center. That, that ball is going to get down, but Santana's there to uh, cut it off for a single. One out, runner on first here for Crawford in the top of the fifth. Big cut by number yeah. 12. Just trying to get some runs back there with one swing. And 12, is that's the that's third baseman? Yeah. Again, good-looking athlete. That's going to be fouled off near the third base dugout for strike two. What was the name of that town I said they were from a while ago? I don't know. It starts with an R. I think the second letter is an O. Ends with an E. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm horrible. With my, my mind is leaving me. Roberta? That's it. Is it Roberta, I think? No. Is Was it? I don't know. You're the one looking it up. Yeah. You tell us. Let's see. That Let's ball is going to be grounded back up the middle there, so – Crawford's going to have runners on first and second here. Now batting number five, Jim Blood. 
Roberta is correct. Roberta, Georgia. They're in that region with Heard County, and they're they're usually a, one of the buzzsaw teams. They they're a perennial power in softball. Lamar County, also a part of that region. Yeah, there's a. Oh, what a play. Oh, Drug that, pulled yeah, her foot off. Throw was going to pull us off the bag there. So Crawford's going to have the bases loaded here. One out, down by three in the top of the fifth. Man, they just just won't go away, will they? No, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> they just won't give up. I don't understand. Yeah, well, I mean, come on. Why? Why? <laughs> Hey, we're going to have a little visit here by the head coach, Gay. He's just going to rally the troops here, kind of regroup. Uh, you know, get solid little hits. It's not like we've, uh, you know, yeah. hadn't, hadn't booted the ball around, thrown it around. First two hits of the inning were the real deal. I mean, they had a little, you know, bloop right there, but that just landed in the perfect spot. So, this is really the first sign of trouble since the first inning. Bases loaded, one out. That ball's going to be fouled straight back. Gonna miss low. Pitch is gonna be low and inside also, so now we got a two one count. Nowhere to put her. Yeah, you wanna make her gotta let her put the ball in play and let your defense work. Yeah, just let her get herself out here. Oh, or nice. have a base hit on the left field line. Yep. It's going to score two runs, most likely. Yep. So now we find ourselves in a 4 3 ball game here. Crawford's going to have runners on second and third with one out. Man, I tell you, this inning has really escalated quickly. It really did. Uh, you know, it's, and again, it, it's, that's three uh, legitimate hits there in a row, basically. Um, and but that, that's what and and I said it a minute ago, hey, just throw some pitches, let her put it in play, but unfortunately they they've put it in play where we haven't had a defender, yeah, you know when you say put it in play, I guess you got to be more specific and <laughs> put it in play where we have a person in a red a jersey chance to get an out yeah. quickly that's gonna bring numbers at six, eight, no six, that's gonna be. I think they made a switch. I think this is actually Ivy. Number six is Ivy. And Widden is in that two spot this game. Maybe not. No, 12 is Ivy. 12 is Ivy. That's popped up to third base, so we're going to get our second out of the inning. That was a big out there. Yeah. Got yeah. <clears throat> Go ahead. Got to come out of this inning with the lead. Ball. 
four or three ball game with the Lady Raiders on top. Top of the fifth, two outs. Bases loaded for Crawford. <laughs> hey, how many times have the bases been loaded between these two teams and between you know the last game we played, last time we played them, and now uh, four like, or five times? Yeah, I feel like that number is starting to rack up. That's going to be strike two though, so we are one strike away from getting out of this enormous jam here. It's going to be low, ball one. Mm, boy, that's a good-looking pitch. I guess yeah. just a little too far. Uh, that's one of those that you would have liked to have gotten caught in your favor there. Regardless, it's a 2-2 two -two count. Hey, that ball a roll foul. Just a little nubber there off the hands. And that's what I just don't. I'm just I'm looking for that little C and I, a little bloop or something there. Uh, I'd like to see a little blooper back to the pitcher. Anything that results in an out right here would be great. Oh, boy. Oh, so, and that's going to get through the infield. Two runs are going to score. Yep, so. Crawford's going to claim the lead here in the top of the fifth inning, five to four. Man, this is just a rerun. Yeah, I mean, they, they went from hitting it right at us to now they're hitting it in every hole on the field. Going to get a courtesy runner. By the way, runners at first and second, two outs. They've scored four here in the top of the fifth. Take the lead, five to four. Yeah, I'm, and we start off this inning with a quick first out, and now it's just escalated from there. And strike one. Foul down the uh, third base dugout there. Swing and a miss. And there we go. So now your Lady Raiders to get out of that inning, but now they've got some work to do here. So they've got to find a way to reclaim this lead. So we got nine outs left. Yeah. We're going to take a break here, catch our breath, and uh, be back here in just a moment.
All right, so here we are back in the bottom of the fifth inning now with the Lady Raiders finding themselves in a hole by one run here, five to four. Got the top of our lineup, um, Lexi Kirkland leading off the inning. Start off 2 0. Three O count here to start the inning. So this is what you want. You want to get runners on base. And I mean, I said it a handful of times last night. A walk is a rally. So whatever we can do to help ourselves out or whatever Crawford wants to do to help us out, we'll take it. It's going to be strike one. Nope, never mind. Ball four. I thought I heard the umpire say strike on that. Now batting, number five, Riley Andrews. All right, so we've got the tie run on base. Now we just got to get her around and have her cross the plate. But it seems like <clears throat> every other inning we have the top of the lineup back up, it seems. Um, yeah. We had went three up, three down since the first inning maybe. And this works out for us as well. These girls, as long as we don't go three up, three down here, they'll have an opportunity, worst case scenario, of coming back up in the in the, in the the bottom of the seventh. Yeah. I almost feel like Riley is due for a big hit mm. here. Well, she's definitely due with two strikeouts. Um it's, as long as she just, I know that's in the back of her mind, she may, she don't press, just relax, do what she's done all season long. This girl struggling to get the ball over the plate right this second. Again, she can, she can uh, give us the lead back here with one swing. I know she hadn't had a ton of home runs all season, but. Speaking of that, yeah, see you never, later. Never mind. <laughs> Riley Andrews just gave the Lady Raiders the lead hey. here in the bottom of the fifth. Did I call that? That's called by your uh, <laughs> local uh, fortune teller up here, Brent Johnson. See him for all of your uh, foreshadowing In, needs. Investment needs, future. right? Man, I tell you, he's better at that than he is his day job. <laughs> Once in a while, uh, it'll, it'll smile on you, but. You 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 said it. She's due. She was due. You know, and, yeah. and as long as she didn't press, as I said, uh, just not. And that was she didn't try to kill that ball. That was just a, a sweet a sweet stroke. Yeah, and I mean that um, ball was hit the dead center field. Smoked. Uh, but well, yeah, uh, that, that was easy. Yeah. So uh, let me put no. some, let me put some uh, runs on the board here. So yeah. one, two. That gives us back the lead, six to five with no outs. So let's just. How about we add on a few. This, you should have seen this crowd. You probably did right down below. They were going nuts, too. Yeah. Big crowd. I'm going to pan over in a minute. I hate to unlock the camera, but it is a huge crowd here. That ball just jumped off the bat. Haley's going to take that up and in. Yeah, I cut that highlight for uh, – Jess, uh, her home run she hit yesterday and, and sh shot it out and put it out there. And I think a lot of people were able to see that today. That's going to be another highlight I'll be able to send out. There oh, we go. We got an error here. Haley's going to end up getting the second base at on least, the throwing error. I, at least. I don't know if I wouldn't have forced to throw to third from yeah. where they were at. I mean, your, your Lady Raiders have fought back. and uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure you can call it a rally now that they have the lead, but. We're looking to add on here and do some more damage with the uh, heart of the lineup at, um, in the batter's box. Yeah, that was a pretty impressive hit to, uh, home run just a moment ago. I mean, she just yeah. smoked it dead center. I mean, think about it. You got a senior up the bat, her team down by one with a trip to Columbus on the line, and she comes up and is able to make it happen. I mean, you love to see it. Oh, uh. 
hits her and oh, he's gonna call man. her out. Yeah. The ball hit her out of the box. That's a tough that's just a tough call there. That's gonna be an out. By play. Yeah, excellent bunt. Just hopped up on her and hit her outside of the the batter's box and that's an automatic out. And here's Cartlett. She is uh, two for two with two base hits. And, again, yeah. you talk about she's seeing a beach ball yeah. these last two days. Maybe she can do some damage right here. That's it. Yep, that's back up the middle. That's, that's another RBI. Right gap. We're going to have another run score here. So, <laughs> Haley Hand's going to come across an RBI by Jess Cartlett to extend the Lady Raiders' lead now to 7-5. Um, to five. I'll tell you, you love to hear those cowbells when they're in your favor. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're the opposing team, you absolutely hate the sound of it, but <coughs> right now it's nice. Well, you know, we were able to come back this inning and do basically what they did to us in the, uh, you know, the top of this inning. Uh, they would just got, got several base hits, you know. Uh, hit the ball solid where we wasn't. Uh, we have hit the ball hard. Yeah. And here's Dixon. You know she's she's uh, two for <coughs> two for two with a double and three RBIs. Yeah, yeah. Rashman has had some impressive at bats so far with some of the contact that she's made. Got a strike there on the first pitch of the at bat. Ball's popped up. Yeah, she's going to foul, headache. foul that one back towards us. Whoa. <laughs> no. That old Andy Dixon down there. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, um, Ayla's dad, I believe, just caught her foul ball. So. Yeah. And he had Out the of arm, there. And he had the arm to get it back over the <laughs> net, so that's always impressive. Yeah. There's a lot of times you see people try to throw them over and they – tend to come up just a bit short. Another ball out of play. Yeah. That might make the baseball field. Yeah, I don't think her dad's oh, catching that, that one. Double and a single for this young lady. Run it first. One out. Good eye. Ooh. Oh, he's going to get rung up there on him. Inside um, pitch. Inside pitch. Mm. Brings up Hollingsworth. She is one for two with a single, RBI. Let's see her pull one. Yeah, as you've got the third baseman hugging the bag. Most of her balls go to the right side of the field when she makes contact. A lot of speed. Good cut. But she's quickly down 0-2 with two outs here. <clears throat> In the bottom of the fifth. Good eye. Oh, man. Left that one up. There it is. There we go. Let's get down ball. Pop that one in the left center. Oh. But it's going to hang up just long enough for the center fielder to run over and make that catch to end the inning. But it is – not before your Lady Raiders could come back and retake a 7-5 to five lead here. So it's going to send us to the top of the six, six outs away from Columbus.
And we're back. Top of the sixth here. Lady Raiders looking to finish this one out. Just six outs away from a trip to Columbus. He's going to miss outside there on the first pitch. It's going to miss up in the zone here. Three-zero count here to the first batter of the inning. Definitely don't want to walk here. Throw strikes, attack the zone, go get her. There we go. Strike one. You know, after a couple big innings like that, what you want to try to do. Strike two, outside corner. Well, he's consistent because he, that's, the, that's the pitch he rung uh, Dixon up on a while ago. A three up and three down inning would be fantastic. Yeah, really sweet here. That's going to get fouled off into the bullpen area. Gonna miss a little, a little wide there on the outside part of the plate. So here we go. Crawford's got their leadoff batter on. There we go. Strike one. <clears throat> Back to the top of the order, I believe, aren't we? Number eight. Yeah. Griffin. Oh. Base hit at first at bat. Oh, we might get the lead runner here at second. Yes, we will. That's a big out. Yep. It's going to bring... Uh, Ivy to the plate. Yeah. So here we are with one out. Uh, oh, a, yes, oh, sir. Lady Kirkland just makes that play. <laughs> she might have smacked the fence, but it's all right. Yep. Four outs away. Yep. So pop up that three Ava outs, Connor. So, so three she's going to send us to the bottom of the six with Lady Raiders up seven to five. And Connor's going to lead off the inning. Man, if we can get a couple insurance runs here, <clears throat> but three outs away uh, from the Lady Raiders advancing to Columbus. This first had been in, in a couple years, and we had a stretch there over about a 10 year period. We went like eight times. It was pretty remarkable. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I believe that feeling is probably starting to set in here amongst the players, coaches, and fans for sure. Well, again, I I won't be secure until we get that third out. Uh, again, this team just doesn't give up and doesn't go away easily. Um, you know, if we, we, we put two or three more runs on the board here, I, I'd feel very confident. But just with a two-run lead, again, um, the way they hit the ball, uh, the, the last inning, you just you just don't know. Um, and I was looking at the region uh, earlier. This is the region that Heard County is in. Heard is a perennial power. Um, I would be interested to to ask uh, somebody from this team how how might we stack up against Heard? I, I I remember the first time uh, 
we had to play them in Columbus, and this was probably six or six or eight years ago, one of the first couple years we went. Uh, that's when we had a pretty good uh, squad. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the girls' names that were on that team. Uh, the Sweat girl, uh, Austin Sweat, John's daughter, and, and that group. Um, uh, Shorty, uh, the barbecue man, his oh, daughter. So you gotta be talking about Sydney Sweat, Sydney Sweat, pa- uh, Paxton, Paxton Sellers. Sellers, and them girls. Yeah, and <clears throat> we were over there, and we we just <laughs> heard come on the field. I'm like, oh my gosh, these are grown women. <laughs> I had to be real careful, you know, how to describe them, but they were just big athletes, and um, every one of them. And it was just, and I think they won state that year. Matter of fact, uh, it was just just a just a good-looking group of uh, just a just a good-looking softball team, top to bottom, of athletic girls and, uh, but yeah. Ava's gonna lead off this inning, taking ball low and away. outside <coughs> three o count Got to be taken here. Oh, yeah. She pours it in for strike one. Definitely like to get some insurance runs right here. Yeah, need a base runner, and this is a good opportunity. 3 1. There it is. A walk is a rally. Line. <laughs> oh, it's going to get fouled off near the crowd here. Oh, and we can't get the catch made. David Swanson, though, showing off the, the arm, throwing that ball back in there. Lost it in the sun. That, that didn't conk one of them on the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I actually think it was Swanson's wife that was the closest to making the catch. She was just trying to get out of the way, I think. <laughs> Green at the plate. Change up. Ooh. Rings are up. It's going to be two outs. Yeah, that's going to bring us back to the top of the line up here. Lexi up the bat. And, uh, I think it was just last inning. You were mentioning how it seems like we're always coming back up to the top of our lineup. And here we are one inning later. All right, ball is going to be high in the zone. I 
That's going to fall in for a strike. That looked a little high on the zone, too. Yeah, I think it almost looked like it might have dropped there at the very end. Seven to five. There's chop to third. Oh, oh no, and she's not going to make that catch at second base, so you, we're going to have runners on first and second now with one out. Andrews back up after a big home run. Yeah, I mean, if she can uh, just re inning. replicate her last at bat here, that'd be great. I think it's like 200 feet all the way around on a regulation softball field, something like that. There we go. There's a hard shot in that 5-6 hole by Rowley. That'll get a run in and extend the lead to three. I, know, uh, I said her last at bat, Rowley was due, and then her, her last couple at bats, she's come up huge. Get Haley Hand up the bat here, <coughs> three hole hitter. <coughs> Haley's one for three with a base hit. And we failed to mention they did bring in a new pitcher, a southpaw. That's Howard, I believe. Is that number seven? Yeah. yeah. This is their third pitcher of the ball game. Haley's going to leave that one up. Plus on deck, cartilage getting ready. That's a good pitch on that outside corner, just off the plate. That's going to miss, so now we're going to have the bases loaded with one out here in the bottom of the sixth with a huge opportunity to add on to our lead right here. <coughs> Pless got put out on a, a, a really good bunt attempt, but the ball bounced up and, and hit her as she stepped out of the batter's box. I don't think yeah. she'll be bunting here. She's got, a, she's got a big opportunity to help herself out right here and pad the lead. Strike one. <coughs> uh, it's going to mess up. Strike two there. It's going to be a ground ball to second base. She's going to be able to feel that and make the play at the plate for the force. So we're not going to add on there, but we're still going to have the bases loaded, but with two outs now. And guess who's up? Three for three. Yep. Three base hits. 
Jess has, <laughs> Jess has been on a roll both yesterday and today, so she just keeps on rolling I'm right I'm telling here. you, if there was a, ba- a bag available, I would be walking her. You no, know, but the bad part for Crawford County is, is there are no bags available right now. We got a strike called there on the outside. A lot of room in left center. Uh, I'm going to get a swing there on a check swing. So it's going to be 0-2. Side. They'd have been a right here if uh, they'd have called that a strike. <laughs> hey. Our fans would have been storming the field like Tennessee's did on Saturday. Hey. Minus the goalpost. Yeah. That's going to get hit off. Oh. The, oh, and she boots it. She's safe. Look at that speed. Yes, yes sir. sir. That's a catcher running one out. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. It's another run scored. Man, she hit that. It sounded like right off the end of the bat. But it worked. Yep. Had a lot of spin on it. Nine to five. Base is still loaded. Two outs? Yes, sir. With Ayla Dixon back up, she's had a few big hits in the past. Double single and a strikeout that was questionable. I was going to bounce up there for ball one. It's going to be up. Yep, that pitch is going to miss. We've got a 3-0 count right here. 3-0 count, bases loaded, nowhere to putter. I'm swinging hard as I can right here. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> if it's close, you she's got to throw a strike. I mean, if we went up with one, it'd be different. Boom. That's, that's <laughs> going to catch the outside part of the plate. Now, now you're swinging. Now you're looking for something to, to drive here. It's going to be grounded out to short. She'll make that play. So, we're going to go to the top of the seventh. Three Lady Raiders leading nine to five and then being three outs away from the trip yeah. to Columbus. Be back in just a moment.
<laughs> All right, here we go. Top of seven. Let's see. Lady Raiders can, I would say, bring us home, but we're already at home, so. Finish this thing off. How about that? Yeah, that works, too. <laughs> That'll that, work. That's going to be a one pitch out here, so we are two outs away from sealing the deal and taking care of the job as a one seed. is going to miss up high. Man, there is a large crowd here. Yeah, I'm going to pan around and get a look at them here in a second. They are beginning to feel it. is going to miss outside. Yeah, you, you again, don't want to give them anything. Throw some strikes. And put it in play. That's a foul ball, but that's also a strike two. on that one. No. I don't think I don't think she she crossed the plate. I don't think our girl did earlier either, but I think she held up there. Yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah. That was to be expected. Yeah. They did appeal, and the umpire is that strike three. I think no, that's ball four. All right. All right. So, got a runner on first with one out. Lady Raiders lead by four. The last time we went to Columbus was when AJ was a junior. They didn't get, they didn't qualify their senior year, so none of these parents have been, uh, not at least with this group of girls. Maybe with an older daughter, some of them. That's going to be fouled back. Pretty good, pretty good softball team that year with Taz and AJ. Ball is chopped. Ground even. ball to second here. Oh, and she's going to make the toss. And, uh. Throw the ball right. <laughs> Lord, Just trying to finish them off here with one out. Uh, you know, got in, in big games. You know, that, that's why closers in Major League Baseball are such a big deal because the last three outs are the hardest ones to get. Without a doubt. Runners at first and second, one out, top of the seventh, two outs away from advancing to Columbus for the first time in several years. First ever, as, as far as we know, a super regional as the GHSA has created this year. Normally there's two rounds of playoffs to qualify for, uh, for Columbus, but we brought these four teams together in one location and had been a double elimination. Yeah, got that foul ball there, so one one count with one out. Oh. 
Pops, 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 pops. Pops, pops. Pops up to Chloe, so one out away for your Lady Raiders. I believe, I believe everyone in this complex is going to be standing on their feet just about. Well, you got a four-run lead with two outs. It, it's it, that puts a. You talk about uh, you know running the numbers on that. The yeah. odds of us losing this game is very, very slim. But again, you got this until you squeeze that last out. Strike one. Seventeen game winning streak on the line. I mentioned earlier, if you just you know joined us a little bit later in the broadcast, Coach Gay is, he's coached ba baseball most of his all of his career except for the last two years. He's been here at Bacon County, uh, come out of administration in Pierce County, he coached here at Bacon County, early two thousands, uh, won and played for state championships in baseball. There uh -oh. could be it. Riley, is he going to make that? And yes, it sir. is. Yeah. You Lady Raiders are headed back to Columbus. <laughs> That's awesome. Big crowd. I'm going to pan around here and let you see down here. That's at the fence over here in the stands. I know I got a bar right there, but I promise you it's full. Uh, a lot of all these people down here. Good crowd from Crawford, too. I want to thank them. And their team from, man, they, they put up a fight. You know, we talked about earlier how, uh, you know, they just wouldn't go away, wouldn't give up. Yeah, they they were worthy competition. So congratulations to the Lady Raiders. Coach Gay and his staff, I didn't mention any of uh, really their staff, uh, Kyle Allen, Mar uh, Mariah Holton, and Mr. Tony King. He's been around this game for a long time too. Just super proud for them. A lot of hard work goes in. <clears throat> you play, you practice, and – and play games through the summer. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, and when, you, when you have your first off-season meeting, I mean, this is the goal. the goal. This is what you envision as being in this spot. Yep. You want to, you know, ultimately you want to win a region championship, and then you want to qualify. Yeah. For Columbus, you know, there's there's goals you have to cross off on the checklist, and I mean, winning this super regional, advancing to Columbus, that is one of the big boxes to cross off. So now there's there's one goal left. Yeah, it's a state championship. And these girls will have a chance to compete for that uh, just because of their scrappiness. Again, we're going to have we're going to run into some uh, to some, some, some pretty good pitching at some point up there, something we haven't faced uh, mm -hmm. all season. That's yeah. going to have a little heat. When you get to this point in the season where we're going, everybody is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just going to be a great environment. We, we're a young team, folks, and it's going to be great experience one way or the other uh, as we head, you know, into the future of Red Raider softball. But – uh, I, 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 again, this, the scrappiness of this team up and down the lineup and, and Pless just battles off yeah. the, on the mound. She just battles. And, uh, so again, we're going to have an opportunity to, to make some noise, uh, next week when we go to Columbus. So I want to give you a, let, you know, I want to go ahead and cut this off. We're going to celebrate a little bit with them as well. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us on the NFHS network. Thank you for subscribing, uh, watching, um, next week, if you're unable uh, to make the trip to, to Columbus, which a lot of a lot of people, mainly parents and stuff, go, but uh, we have some loyal fans that will travel, uh, spend a couple of days there. Uh, we encourage you to uh, – you can watch it. We won't be there broadcasting, but the NFHS should be. They're supposed to be. Uh, you should be able to uh, um, to pull those up. And I'll, I'll find those links uh, of our matchups and, and push them out on our social media so you have an opportunity to easily click and – and be able to watch those games next week. They should start next Thursday and then Friday, Saturday uh, is where it ends. So uh, should begin next Thursday morning at some point. So we want to thank you for joining us again on this network uh, brought to you by Red Raider or BCTV Red Raider Broadcasting, which is an extension of my engineering and technology program. Uh, this allows uh, my program to help raise a few funds to, to support our technology student association as well as the uh, student broadcasting program. So, again, thank you for joining us. On behalf of myself, Coach Skycat, got a word there you want to say? Sign no, off for I softball. Mean, this, this is just awesome, to be honest. I mean, to be in this situation, to be here, be a part of it, I mean, it's a huge accomplishment. And job's not finished, though.
That's right. That's right. We've got, got another uh, four or five days of practice and preparation and getting ready for Columbus. Well, signing off for the – 2022 softball yeah, season here at, at Lady Raider Field anyway. I just thought this is the last game we'll call together this season. So, I mean, I guess we can all cry later about that and everything. <laughs> look forward to – look forward to got some basketball, finish up the football season, got some basketball, head into soccer and then baseball. So, uh, we'll have some opportunities to get back together. But, again, thank you for joining us and go Raiders.